I have the x-axis. Let's say at some time t, the object moves with a velocity v. So this is v at time t. Now, at time t plus delta t, the object moves with a velocity v at time t plus delta t, which is, in general, different from v at time t. So there's a different velocity. Again, I can look at the rate of change of velocity over the time interval, t to t plus delta t. The rate of change of velocity is v at time t plus delta t minus v at time t divided by the change in time, which is delta t. This represents the average acceleration over the time interval from t to t plus delta t. Now, if I let the time interval delta t approach, approach 0, then this will represent the value of the acceleration at time t. So I define, I take the limit as delta t goes to 0, and I call this quantity the acceleration. This is the acceleration at time t. Now, it's possible to give some example of all this. Suppose I have x at time t is given by 3 plus 4t. plus t squared. So this expression, it gives x as a function of time. So uh, we have an object moving along the x-axis at t equal 2 seconds. What is v equal to at this specific time? To answer this question, I can apply the definition of v to find v at any given time t. So v at any given time t is x at t plus delta t minus x at time t divided by delta t. And then I should take the limit as delta t goes to 0. Now, what is x at time t plus delta t? This is x at time t. So what is it at t plus delta t? I simply replace t by t plus delta t. So I have the limit as delta t goes to 0. I get 3 plus 4 t plus delta t plus t plus delta t square. This is x at time t plus delta t minus x at time t minus 3 minus 4t minus t squared. All this divided by delta t. This is equal to the limit as delta t goes to 0. Now, this is 3 plus 4t plus 4 delta t plus t squared plus 2t delta t plus delta t square minus 3 minus 4t minus t square. All this divided by delta t. The 3 and the 3 cancels out. The 4t and the 4t, the t 
t square and the minus t square. And now divide by delta t, so we get the limit as delta t goes to 0. 4 delta t over delta t is just 4. 2t delta t over delta t is just 2t. And delta t squared over delta t is just delta t. So the limit as delta t goes to 0, I just set this equal to 0. Um, I have 4 plus 2t. So this is v at any given time t. So at t equal 2 seconds, I put t equal 2 seconds here. So I get v at t equal 2 seconds. It becomes 4 plus 2 times 2, 4. So that's 8 meters per second. I can do the same way and take now, given v now as a function of t, I can apply the same method and obtain the acceleration. We'll leave this to the next chapter.